The classic Sony Walkman, model number WMFX10, made in Malaysia. You would be surprised how many old electronics are made in Malaysia. I see Sony, I think Japan. Not always the case. This thing has a radio and still plays perfectly. And how can you forget these old headphones? I gave this one to my 22-year-old niece for her birthday with a couple classic tapes. It may seem silly because we got streaming services nowadays, but this used to be the way to listen. And you know what? The AI doesn't get the data. Back when you listened to the music, the music didn't listen to you. I don't mind it because you can really stumble down those rabbit holes of great songs. The volume button is a slider. It's nice to have that control. That way you can really fine tune it like a mixing board. It's got a switch for tape and radio right there next to the 3.5mm headphone jack. The switch for the band AM-FM is just like the tape radio one. We also have tuning right there. On the back we got a clip so you can clip it to your hip. It takes AA batteries and the cover hangs so you won't lose it. On the other side we have a spot to plug in a DC power adapter along with the labels. Here is the front. It's nice to see the radio frequency bar too. Real retro looking. It also says Walkman right on the front with the Sony logo. It says it has an anti-rolling mechanism which for those of you that don't know, it acts as a shock absorber so if you're jogging or running with it, there's no movement inside so the music plays smooth. I want to show these classic headphones again. I love that it came with the original headphones that go with it. They actually sound pretty decent. The whole experience takes me back to when I was a kid. They didn't make the cables super long on these though. On the side with the function buttons you got play, stop, rewind, fast forward. With those you have a dual function switch. DX slash local is for FM reception. DX if you want the tuner to be more sensitive. And local if the signals are closer. Norm is for regular cassette tapes known as type 1. CRO2 slash metal are for type 2 or type 4 cassettes, which are tapes made out of metal. It reduces the hiss by using an equalization filter for each type of tape. And here's a quick look at the back side, really nothing there. Here's a look at the inside, you just pop the tape in and hit play. It's really fun to watch the reels turn, very analog.